Greetings to you in the precious name of Jesus. Every week in my time of preparation and before each recording, I take time to pray that God's blessings will be yours and that in this quiet space, you will know God's peace and holy presence. We ask you, Lord, to come and quieten our minds, our hearts. Take from us, Lord, the strain and stress that our ordered minds might just be able to confess the beauty of your peace. Thank you, Lord. It's confession time. I've probably spent far too much time in front of the television during the last few weeks, watching a variety of sports. Now I justify the time spent as following doctor's orders. I've got a poorly leg that needs rest and elevation. I have perhaps over-rested it, and it's been a good excuse. I found the delayed Olympics so captivating, though I have wondered sometimes why people put themselves through all that agony of training and injuries. St Paul would understand. He uses the athlete as an illustration a number of times in his letters to the early Christian church. But I was thinking about this as I watched the Olympic cycling from the velodrome last week. Now the Madison race was really something. 50 kilometres cycling round and round in circles. Two competitors from each country. They tag each other. They sprint every 10 laps to gain points. And there were huge crashes as well. Yeah, compelling viewing. But just imagine going round and round in circles, just turning left, lap after lap. I wonder if the cyclists have a problem turning right after consistently turning left. Hmm. Do you ever feel like you're going round and round in circles? It's really easy to fall into the trap, especially when we have a problem to solve or a situation on our minds. It's like a loop, isn't it? And and unlike the cycle track, which has a conclusion, it can go on and on until we do something about it. If you have a relationship issue to settle, I can imagine that you constantly rehearse the same conversation with the person over and over again. Consider this. What if the other person is doing exactly the same thing over and over again? Might now be the time to talk and listen to one another? Do you have a spiritual issue that you play or pray over and over again? May I gently suggest that you stop your circular journey and take time to be still and listen to what God is wanting to say to you. I know from experience how possible it is just to keep going on without taking that time to listen to the still and calming voice of God. I encourage you to seek out someone you trust will listen to you and encourage you in your faith. Speak out what has been going round and round in your mind in prayers. I assure you that such sharing bears fruit. The one thing with the cycle track in the velodrome is that the distance remains constant. So often, we may feel like we're going in ever-decreasing circles. Now in the centre of the velodrome track is the heart of the network. It's the place where the athletes go to warm up or cool down. It's the place where they are physically patched up after accidents or have weary muscles massaged or given a hug. It's the place where the defeated are encouraged to continue in their quest to improve their performance where the ever watchful coach points out errors and how to correct them. Right in the middle of your circular confusion is the heart of God, the place where we can all find refuge, healing for our wounds, have our errors pointed out to us, and know that in Jesus Christ we have a Saviour who loves us with a passion and compassion. He will take us out from the centre of our circle and out into his glorious freedom. As I write this reflection, 
I have a picture of the hand of God coming into the centre of my confused thinking and lifting me to a place where I can see things clearly. Once again I receive familiar words from Isaiah and share them with you. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weary and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Lord, today we give ourselves to you in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you.